customer would have to log into the system. Once they log into the system with their user credentials, username, first name, dot last name, and password would be used as their current Zimbra password. Then they will go to human resources menu. All the HR related processes like uh, payroll, training, expense reimbursements, appraisal would be available in human resources menu. If I have to apply for a leave, I will go to leave request menu. It will show me all the leaves that I have applied in the past. Okay. I'll click on create to apply for a new leave. I'll enter a description for the leave. Say it's my brother's marriage. I will choose a leave type. Let's say annual leave is an example. As soon as I choose the leave type, the system will automatically show me what are the current leaves accrued as on today. It is 22nd of March, so it will automatically accrue leaves based on today's date. Next, it will show me what are the utilized leaves. These are the number of leaves which I have already utilized in the current financial year. And the leave balance will come automatically once I save this information. So now I will choose the days on which I would like to take the leave. So I am applying leave from Monday 27th March to 28th March. The system has automatically calculated the duration as two. Please note that the leaves which come over the weekend that is Saturday and Sunday are not considered. Also the leaves which come over a holiday which has been announced by the company will also not be considered which effectively means if you are applying leave from Friday to Monday and Saturday, Sunday is already off, then the system will only consider two leaves instead of four. Okay. The system also shows you the employee manager that has been uh, associated with you, which is Steve Agambo in this case. Once you have filled the information, you will click on save. The system has given me warning because I have applied for two same leads on the same day, which effectively which does not is not allowed in the system. So I'll change the dates. Let's say April 27th and April 28th. Please note that the last day of the leave cannot be before the first day of leave. Otherwise, the system will give you a warning and do not allow you to proceed. I'll click on save. In this case, now the system has allowed me to save the information. To submit this leave request to my manager, I'll click on validate. As soon as I click on validate, it sends an email to my manager that a leave request is pending for approval. Okay. You can see that I do not have any right to approve or refuse my leave request. Now, Steve Agambo, once he receives the email alert, he can go into the system. Now, Steve will follow the same process. Once he logs in, he will see various menus. Go to human resources menu. Now Steve is likely to be manager for many people, so he would be able to approve leaves for many employees who directly report to him. These are all the leave requests. As you can see, I have received a leave request which is waiting for my approval. I can see the button approve or refuse. If I refuse the leave, then first I have to give a reason why I am going to refuse the leave by entering the details here. If I do not enter the details and try to refuse the leave, the system will not allow me. Okay, So that means refusal, the you need to compulsorily add a reason for refusal of the leave. In normal circumstances, you will be approved by clicking on this button. Once the leave is approved by the manager, it will go to the department manager. I'll ask my colleague now to approve the leave on behalf of department manager. Now let's go to Kennedy's account again. Now as you can see here,
Now you can see that the lease leave has been approved. It was waiting for HR manager and my leave has been approved. After my leave has been approved, my total leave balance will go down. Okay. And if I apply the leave again, then the system will show me two less. Okay. Now this was an example of a leave which was of type annual leave. The process for applying for different leave types would be exactly same. However, not all leaves are fixed. Okay. Let's apply for some other leave. Say sick leave. I choose sick leave here. In case of sick leave, you need to attach a doctor's note compulsorily. I am going to choose 2nd May as my sick leave. Here, if I try to send the mail to my manager, it is asking me to make an attachment. Unless I attach a doctor's note here, I will not be able to send this leave for leave request. So I have used a doctor's note and now if I click on validate. I would be able to send this request to my manager. I again go from manager's account who will now receive a request. As you can see, I have received the request of sick leave. Again, I have button to approve or refuse. I'm going to click on refuse. But as soon as I try to refuse, it asks me to give a reason, which I am going to give here. The other types of leave request you can make here. Let's see some examples. Compassionate leave. In case of compassionate leave, all, all aspects remain the same except for the fact that you have to mention the relative due to which you are taking this leave. Compassionate leave is meant in case some close relative dies. So the system will have list of all your relatives in the stored in the system which HR will update. Their names will appear here. You will have to choose for which reason you are taking the compassionate leave. The process remains the same. Unpaid leave will come into picture only when you have exhausted all leaves and there is no reason why you are taking the leave. It is not compassionate. It is not sick leave. If you are taking reasons beyond annual leave, then you will choose an unpaid leave. The process remains the same. Maternity or paternity leave. Now, maternity leave is only for females. So that means if you are a male and you are applying for maternity, you cannot. You can apply for paternity leave. The process remains exactly the same, no difference. You need to make an attachment as a proof of the paternity. Study leave is a special case leave where you want to do some study and you are requesting the management to approve your leave for the study. Please note that study leave is finally approved by the CEO. Finally, compensatory leave. Now, compensatory leave is also a special case. This is this compensatory leave will only be active only if you have done some kind of uh, overtime or the management has awarded you some extra leaves for some good work. Okay. So, if any employee is eligible for compensatory leave, HR team will first allocate the leaves to them. Once the leaves are allocated, you will be able to apply. Please note that compensatory leave is not possibly available to everybody and every time.
it is only due to certain circumstances when they will be available and when only they are available you can only apply the leaf there in this way you will be applying your leaves at any point of time you would be able to see all your leaves in a table if you would like to see all your leaves in a calendar view we have three different buttons here called list view calendar view and form view if i want to see all my leaves in calendar i can see them you can see here and if i want to see a summary of all the leaves that i have taken so various leaves that i have taken i was given 21 leaves i have applied for sick leave on 2nd may and the various stages will also appear okay so this is the uh, ma manner in which the leave request would be handled by any employer i hope uh, uh, i have been able to explain it well thank you for listening bye bye